Did you know that running the Canifus rooftop course offers the best marks of grace per hour outside of Ardoin, even if you're overleveled? And did you also know that it's actually worse marks per hour to run the Canifus course at peak efficiency? It's not even close. You'll get approximately 20% more marks of grace if you lose 2-3 to three ticks per lap compared to the most efficient possible times. I'll show you why, and as a bonus, I'll teach you how to turn Mark of Grace collection into a semi-AFK or hybrid training activity without losing any marks per hour. First, we need to discuss the spawn mechanics for Marks of Grace. They only spawn on rooftop agility courses, and only when you complete a lap of that course. The only obstacle with a chance to spawn a Mark of Grace is the final one. It may sometimes seem like other obstacles spawn marks, but that's just because it spawned far enough away to not be immediately visible. When spawned, Marks last for 10 minutes on the ground unless another spawns on top of it, so you have plenty of time to pick them up without worrying about despawning. Importantly, every time you spawn a Mark of Grace, there is a hidden 3 minute cooldown that starts ticking. While this cooldown is active, you're unable to spawn any further Marks of Grace. Even if you could somehow complete a thousand laps during those 3 minutes, you would not spawn another Mark until the cooldown is finished. With the RD Elite Diary complete, there is a chance for this 3 minute cooldown at the Ardoin course to be reduced to 2 minutes. But this video is all about Canifus. At the Canifus course specifically, the spawn chance for a Mark of Grace is two-thirds, or 66.7%. Again, this is rolled when you complete a lap. For some reason, either a bug or an unadvertised feature, this spawn rate never decreases at Canifus, even as you overlevel by 20 plus agility levels, as is the case for other courses. And that's all we need to know about spawn mechanics. Now let's see why it's better to run Canifus at about 97% efficiency. At top speeds without failing, one lap takes 73 game ticks to complete, or 43.8 seconds. This includes the time it takes to restart the course after finishing it. If you're trying to maximize mark spawns, you would never want to finish a lap if the 3 minute cooldown would expire before you can finish your next lap. In other words, you want to time your lap finishes so they sync up with that cooldown as closely as possible. At peak efficiency, you'll be out of sync by several seconds by the time you're eligible to spawn another mark of grace. I think a diagram is helpful to explain this concept. On top is a representation of 73 tick laps, and the bottom shows a slightly slower 75 tick lap. The small gray and gold rectangles represent one lap of the course, with their width scaled to the respective lap time. A gray rectangle is a lap that will never have a mark of grace. A gold rectangle is a lap that has a mark of grace. The large red rectangle is the cooldown timer, and you can see that in the peak efficiency diagram, it's slightly out of sync with the lap times, and below, it's perfectly synchronized. This is the crux of the video. By purposefully or accidentally delaying yourself by 2 ticks per lap, you'll have substantially more chances at Mark of Grace spawns per hour. But it gets ever so slightly better. Remember that it's not a guarantee to receive a Mark of Grace whenever you complete a lap without the cooldown. If you're ever running a lap that was eligible to have a Mark spawned, but you low rolled and didn't get one, you're free to not lose those 2 ticks and run it normally. This is a tiny increase in the marks per hour over the 75 tick method, and it's hardly worth mentioning. To demonstrate this further, I wrote a very simple simulation that runs laps at Canifus in 73 ticks until 100,000 marks of grace are collected. And I wrote another that runs laps at 75 ticks with the same goal. The 73 tick simulation averages 14.9 marks per hour, whereas the 75 tick averages 17.8. I should mention that if you're like me and are often not very focused on the game, you're probably losing at least two ticks per lap anyway, so take this more as a reassurance that you're not losing out on Marks of Grace. Now for the AFK and hybrid training methods. To collect Marks of Grace at a ratio of about 66% AFK without losing any spawns per hour, you simply run laps until a mark spawns. Pick it up, then wait about 2 minutes and 15 seconds to complete that lap. Once you're done waiting, finish the lap and continue running laps until another spawns and repeat this process. The time you wait depends on how many eligible laps you completed since the last mark spawn. Specifically, you want to wait for 136 seconds if it was the first eligible lap, 93 seconds if it was the second eligible lap, 49 seconds if it was the third eligible lap, or 5 seconds if it was the fourth eligible lap, and 0 seconds for each following lap if you got very unlucky. I use this method to farm marks on mobile for passive stamina potion collection on my Iron Man. The agility XP is pretty abysmal, around 6500 XP per hour, so this is a terrible way to actually train the skill. But if done correctly, you will receive exactly the same marks per hour as the 75 tick method. Hybrid training is another option if you value marks of grace more highly than the agility XP from rooftop courses. 
maybe you prefer to train the skill at Hollowed Sepulchre, which is more engaging and rewarding, and you're only doing rooftops for graceful or staminas. This is very similar to the AFK method, except instead of doing nothing while waiting for the cooldown to expire, you immediately teleport away and train a different skill when you see that a mark is spawned. I sometimes combine this with making cannonballs in Falador, training runecraft at ZMI, or mining sandstone in the quarry in the desert. It's helpful, almost required, to have a Carol teleport in your house for a quick return to Canifus. And the skilling method that you're comboing with needs to have a nearby convenient teleport in order for this to work. I've found that the comboed activity's efficiency gets cut about in half when doing this with precise timings. It's about the same agility XP per hour as the AFK method, but the key is that the marks per hour is identical to what you'd get running rooftops with the 75 tick method. This isn't recommended for all accounts in all scenarios, but it's something to keep in your tool bag next time you run out of staminas or go for a graceful recolor.